Hello, today I'm here with a new video and I am so excited for this video. This is the first impression as you can see and it is with the Whale Song palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. And if you know like the background for this, this was a palette that came at pre-orders in I want to say April and then they have problems with the factory that made the palettes for them and it has been delayed and delayed and delayed but I think that the owners of Menagerie Cosmetics handled this so so good. I have seen that some people are angry with all the with all the things that have happened around the pa this palette but I am not. I feel for them. I think they handle it so so good. So yeah, I'm all over the place because I have been looking so forward to this. If you didn't know, I was on vacation when this palette finally arrived and it has been a week since I got it and I just wanted to go home and play with it and stop my vacation but I couldn't do that so finally. I ordered some else some more stuff from Nordry as well, I mean. So I can show you, this is a first impression with the Whale Song palette, but I wanted to show you the other stuff I got. So yeah, I got the Whale Song palette, but we, we can save that for later. I also, in my original order, ordered this like teal lip color, lip shade, lip liquid lip, but then because of all the postpone on this you could get two more so I got three liquid lipsticks so this was the one I ordered and these were the two shades that I chose I can leave the names down here because I ain't gonna try to pronounce them um, so I got three liquid lipsticks I will use one of these in this video I think uh, and I also got the two shades that are in the new feral palette because I have the old so these are the two new shades I didn't pay for these I got them and I felt like the worst customer ever because I have sent so many mails to them but I they were so kind so yeah now it's all three minutes I'm sorry we are going to dig into them whale song palette. So the whale song palette looks like this. I love the front. I love the ocean. I have always done and yeah. <laughs> the inside look like this. I love the inside of this and it's got a mirror so it's like the feral palette and under the mirror it says blue whales are the largest animals on earth with tongues weigh weighing as much as an elephant and then it is a little whale here. I love that little. Yeah. My palette is a little bit, it's not straight, I don't know if you can see it, I can see it when I'm looking at it, I don't care a single bit. So this is 12 shades, so it's blue and green, and I don't really know what I want to do, I think I know, and first I was like, am I going to swatch this? I usually don't swatch because I don't care about swatches. I don't think swatches say anything. So I will not swatch this. I will just zoom you in and we will get started and maybe I just have to think a little bit what I want to do with this. We will just hop into this first impression with the whale song palette. And as you hear, I am pretty excited. So okay, I have swatched a bit and I think I know what I want to do. Yeah, I will start with Plankton, this one, and put it in my whole crease, and I think I will do a greener look, or maybe just like try to do a crunchy look, we will see. And I hope that this palette is more like the Feral palette than the Dragon Child. They are very much kick up on this. But I think oh, I love this like grungy greenish so so much. Okay, so I will take this here. And my eyes are a little bit stained because I did a pink look. 
I don't know if that is up yet, but yes, they are a little bit stained. Right now, this is my favorite kind of colors, like this grungier things. And do you hear my cat eating? One of my cats, she like hates when I record, I think, because she always start to eat food. So I think I want to do pretty easy look. So I will take kelp, this one. This one and plankton was like the two colors I was most looking forward to. Maybe that seems a little bit odd, but I was. So I'm going to take this kelp, I think, all over my lid, actually. This is also such a good color. I hope that I can blend these two together. It wouldn't be a problem. And I think that this palette is, formula-wise, it's more like the Faro palette. Than the dragon child if you have them both so what do we think about this i think it looks pretty good i really love this kelp i just want to pack it on quite a lot actually and then blend it out a little bit and up in the crease and i got a crazy amount of fallouts i know okay and i want to deepen down the outer corner and i think i will take that one. Now I will take bubble net. Oh, one. Do I want to take splash? Shimmery one or bubble net? Oh, this is cool. Okay, I will take a bubble net, the matte one. And a little bit up in the crease. And it was easier to use the mirror from the palette. Okay, a little struggle to get this to stick all over. Maybe it's the brush. I usually don't use this brush for this. Or I usually don't use this brush at all, if I'm going to be honest. So maybe I'll take another brush. I am trying to use some other brushes than Melinda Holberg. So I take this from Real Techniques. Okay, this was better. Sorry if you can't see anything, but it feels like it's not want to stick on top of here. It doesn't feel like it want to stick like right here. If you can see, it's like a little bald spot right there. And I don't really know why, because it's sticking everywhere else except for that one, that little part. Now it was a little bit better. I think I will go in with the kelp one again. Just to have a better edge on it. And yes, it is a crazy amount of fallout right now. I know. But I don't do my face first. And this is the reason for that. Because I like to really dig into the shadows and like really be messy and pack on a lot of shadows okay so it's like fading right here doesn't want to stick right there so i don't know if it is something with my eye maybe because <sighs> it feels strange that it want to be everywhere else except for just there okay i will try it on the other eye i think it worked a little bit better on this eye so maybe it was the first brush or maybe it is something with my eye just there but i don't okay now i have like fallout into my mouth i look crazy <laughs> So, okay, I will take away this crazy amount of fallout and then I will be back and then I also will have my brows and my base on. So I take away this and I hope I will not be green in my whole face and then we will finish up this look together. Okay, so for my under eyes I will 
be a boring shit <laughs> and do the same thing as on my lid so I will almost say thing almost the same thing I will take plankton this is a hard word because it's spelled the same in Swedish but in Swedish we say plankton but I f so I think it would be plankton in English but plankton in Swedish I don't like words that are spelled the same and I'm just taking this on my whole lower lash and I think I want to smudge it out a bit okay and then I will take bubble net bubble net the dark green one that I also have on my lid just to deepen out deepen down the outer corner and just to connect these two together so like that and for my inner corner I want to take fluke this one and I don't know maybe I should okay I think I take this dark green bubble net the whole way now when I'm looking at this and I want to take fluke this one in my inner corner and like down here and first I was like am I going to take a glitter glue I think I will spray it Okay, so I feel that I am satisfied like this, so I will put on mascara and for lips I actually think I will try this one. I don't know the name of this because it has no <laughs> sticker on like these two, but it should be this one. Nero Themis. That's not the actual word. word. I think so I think I will go with this maybe but I will put on mascara put something in my waterline and then I maybe come back with this on we will see but it would be fun to try one of their lipsticks to this look so I will just fix the last things and then I will come back and I will talk a little bit about my first impression of the palette so this is the finished look for my waterline I took teaspoon from Colourpop and for my lips I took this that I don't know the name of and if we can start or I can start just with the lipstick I the formula was okay it didn't dry down like immediately so you could fix some things so far it feels good but I don't like the applicator I think it's the same like NYX have it's just flat I like them a little smaller and tilted it's easier to <laughs> get around the lips but the formula feels good so my first impression with a whale song palette I wasn't that pleased in the beginning but now when I look at the dark green it looks pretty good maybe it incidents a bit patchy but like nothing that I feel unhappy with it so I my first impression is that I like this palette and I think it's more like the feral palette than the dragon child palette and it would be so fun to play with this and try out more I really like the absolute two favorite shades I used today was plankton and kelp I think this plankton it maybe will be my favorite and this fluke I really liked it so I am happy about the colors they were easy to work with a little struggle with the dark green the bubble net but nothing I think it worked out I have to test out this palette more but my first impression is good I like the palette it will be so fun to play with this more so yeah, I really hope you liked this video and do you have this palette? What do you think about this or do you want to buy it? I don't know if it's available right now. They restocked it for like maybe one week ago or two. So it may be still in stock or it's sold out again. 
but I like it and my first impression is good maybe not all the shadows are perfect but I have only tried four shades so I can't say anything about palette but I will absolutely play with this more so yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye